The southeastern U.S. is soaked. Like super duper bummer 24-7 non-stop rain for multiple weeks. We ain't riding today, but that's okay because you guys have been pushing me to make good on a DIY project that I suggested in another video. Your tone changed so fast. Because we're at like a 45 degree angle. Remind me to build a wheelbarrow with disc brakes in a future video. I bought this wheelbarrow for $30 and after just a few projects it's falling apart. It can barely withstand the rigors of light gardening let alone trail building. Dude, <laughs> uh, I definitely should have got a better wheelbarrow. But that's not even the issue. The issue is no wheelbarrow is optimized for 50% grades. Okay. So today we're gonna build a downhill specific wheelbarrow or maybe an enduro barrow, we'll see. This old e-bike will never run again and it's just taking up space in my house. So we'll salvage the suspension fork, front wheel, stem and bars from it. From my parts bin, I'll collect a few more stems, a mechanical disc brake caliper, and some hardware to hold it all together. Since my old wheelbarrow is on its last legs, I'll dismantle it and save the one part that's any good, the plastic bin, which is surprisingly resilient. My idea is to attach a pipe to the steerer tube of this fork, and build a chassis out of stems and handlebars. By using bike parts, I know this thing will be stiff. With a downhill ready chassis, all I'll need to do is fasten the bin to it, somehow. The real challenge is finding a pipe that's the right diameter for the stems. So my plan was I thought the outside of diameter of this was going to be okay, so I was going to put the steer tube in here, and then I have a friend who can weld them. Okay. Now I'm thinking that's not going to work because it's actually going to be one and eight. Right. Tony is always willing to entertain my crazy ideas and lend his knowledge of sizing and hardware. All you have to do then is find something that can attach the end of that bar to the handlebar. Inch and an eighth. He's right. You can actually eye that with a with the tape measure? CP. I think this might work. After some head scratching and experimenting with different parts, I went home with a pipe that matched the outside diameter of the steerer tube. All the sizing looked right and things were coming together, but the chassis didn't seem quite enduro grade. So the cool thing about this machine is you just tell it like what your setup is, what diameter your wire, and then your steel size, and it sets all of your stuff automatically. It's really sweet. Of course you have this machine. Oh dude, yeah. yeah. Johnny normally works with wood, but he dabbles in just about every facet of DIY. As such, he was willing to help me make the best of what I had on short notice. Brush that off. Just be. After some sanding, welding, and hammering, I had a wheelbarrow chassis that was, well, probably better than the last one. We'll let the slopes of Berm Creek have the final word. With a fork flat on the floor, I used a level to get the handlebars aligned with it. I then tightened down the pinch bolts on the stem. A lot. No torque wrench required on this build. Next up, attaching the bin. I lined up the bin and drilled additional holes next to the factory ones to accommodate U-bolts. By fastening the U-bolts around the handlebars at four points, I was confident everything would stay put. To actually operate the Endure Barrel, I attached a cockpit to the very end of the chassis, complete with grips and a brake lever of course. Because internal cable routing is all the rage, I drilled the hole in the stem cap to run everything through the pipe in the middle. Since my mechanical disc brake caliper was missing some parts, I needed to get creative and make my own cable clamp.
To make the Endure Barrow stand up, it would need feet. Using the two sets of handlebars in the middle, I started tinkering with scrap wood from the van video. It feels so sturdy. I think it just looks hilarious when it's standing up. Oh yeah. It's like, what is this monstrosity? With the Endure Barrow complete, it was ready for testing. Except for one problem, all that rain. That didn't stop me from doing some rock work. There are a few areas in my yard that get muddy and slippery. So I wanted to lay down some stepping stones there for foot traffic. If you didn't know, rocks are heavy. With my old wheelbarrow, hauling rocks into the yard was a two-person job. With the Endure Barrow, it's a piece of cake. Just pull the lever and descend with confidence. With a huge 27.5 wheel up front, the Endure Barrow handles bumps like they're nothing. With its wide stance, toppling is a thing of the past. That's a way bigger load than anything we ever carried with the old one. Way, way bigger. I expected this thing to be entertaining, but it actually turned out to be a better wheelbarrow for Berm Creek. But light use isn't enough to call it an Endure Barrow. Yeah. We needed to give it a proper test. Oh, dude, this is so much lighter than no this, way. this is like nothing. No <laughs> dude, this is easier. This is easier than when we were carrying the rocks down. It works so good, right? You're like, I can like get up. Oh, you know? This is actually not so bad. I can get used to this. The Endure Barrow turned out to be stiff, capable, and worthy of its name. And there's nobody here as surprised as me. I thought this thing would flex like crazy and that the stems would slip and throw the bin totally off balance. So the Endure Barrel will actually get used for future projects on Berm Creek. <laughs> I asked you guys to remind me to build this, and you did, in the comments of every video. So thanks for holding me accountable for that suggestion, and please let me know what you think of this thing. I had a lot of fun building the Endure Barrow, and got a few projects done while testing it. Now if only this rain would let up, I could actually use the Endure Barrow to build something rideable. Until then, thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.